Hey, hi, happy Friday. So I went to see what is quite possibly one of my favorite films of not only this year, but in maybe the past five, 10 years, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's, it's called Pig with Nicolas Cage. I don't know if this is a limited release or an indie thing. I also don't know where the fucking camera is on this thing. I've been seeing a little buzz about it. Like the first time I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, what is this? Nick Cage has had a reputation lately for doing basically anything. I, um, I don't know what his situation is with money, but I know I think it involves divorce of some kind and him taking a lot of low rent movies. Um, and he's taken so many at this point, I think he's gotten a reputation for being like a so bad he's good actor or a guilty pleasure. When in fact, Nicolas Cage is one of the best, most genius actors of our generation. The guy's fearless. Um, he's tapping into an energy that I don't know anyone else who ever has. Well, this is Nick Cage in like Moonstruck or Nick Cage in what's another good movie he's been in? Long story short, this isn't a so bad it's good Nick Cage movie, which is kind of what the trailers look like and the marketing looks like. The marketing makes it look like it's John Wick, but with a pig. Who has my pig? Where's my chippy? Hop up. There's my chippy. And it is not John Wick with a pig. Like it is 1000% the opposite of that. I highly recommend going into this movie and reading absolutely nothing about it. The poster isn't even a, a good representation of what this movie is. It just looks like he's gonna kick ass and it's gonna be a B movie, a Nick Cage movie. It is not that. This is the first movie written and directed by a guy named Michael Sarnowski. As debut features go, pretty, pretty fucking great. You know, maybe this will be a one and done thing. I don't know, sometimes you get that or sometimes you get a Chloe Zhao who does something like The Writer, which if you haven't seen The Writer by Chloe Zhao, um, highest recommendation. You seen Lane? Remember when he went three for three in McCool Junction and won it? Yeah, that was a good night for Lane. Um, she did Nomadland as well, which, you know, of course, got a lot of, you know, Oscars and buzz this year. But The Writer is, am is amazing. I don't know if this was up there emotionally with The Writer, but it taps into that same sort of um, really human story. I really didn't see coming. I was really stunned. I would say there were about 15 people in the theater who also had, I think, a very different idea of what this movie was going to be. And again, I'm not giving any spoilers, so it'll be hard to talk about, I think, without giving too much away. But the broad strokes are that Nick Cage is a guy who lives in the woods, uh, and he has a pet pig. Uh, this pig is a truffle pig, so it, it finds these truffles in the dirt, um, which are very valued and prized by uh, these sort of hipster chefs and foragers. And then things just sort of go from there. Anyone who's familiar with the restaurant industry now knows that, you know, foraging and, you know, deconstructing dishes uh, from the land we grew, grew up from, you know, is very popular and trendy. It, it, right here in St. Louis, uh, we have a restaurant I'm dying to, to try. Uh, Rob Connolly's uh, restaurant is supposed to be amazing. And it is this kind of thing where they find acorns and like, you know, I think it's little pieces of dirt on a plate. I don't really know. We get little pieces of information about his life as we go, and these are strung out in a really clever way throughout. So uh, there's another character who's sort of a stand-in for the audience, who sort of realizes who and what this guy is as we go. And it all culminates in an ending that, when I started to see come together, I got really emotional. Now, I haven't seen a movie in a theater in... A, a really, really good movie in a theater in, in a while. It's been a couple years because, you know, besides COVID, I owned a restaurant for a year. So 
I didn't get out much. So it's been a couple years. I saw Nobody in the theater with Bob Odenkirk, which was great, but you know, very much what you would expect. It's an old man, John Wick. Um, what else did I see in the theater? I saw, shit, just last week. My brain is, is, is t what did I see? Oh, Black Widow, it was horrible. Um, God, Black Widow is, is the definition of just like, meh, just content. Like, but I highly recommend, re recommend seeing Pig in the movie theater with your full attention um, and just enjoy the ride. It is, it is great. I was ugly crying by the end. I had to leave the theater <laughs> like last uh, because the, the credits hit that, that, you know, they're smash cut to black. And I just like, I was just overcome. There, there's, it's, there haven't been many times lately where you see a movie, you leave the theater, and you just sort of drive in silence all the way home and think about it. And this was very much that movie. This movie touches on so many things uh, to the human experience that I was just absolutely blown away. Like I said, this is the director and writer's first movie, so maybe this is all he had in the tank. But if that's all he had in the tank, pretty, pretty goddamn amazing. I'm interested to see um, <laughs> what people think about this movie, um, how they sort of discover it. Um, I wouldn't say this is like an indie art film by any means. I mean, there's some crowd pleasing stuff in there that arguably doesn't really need to be, but, but sort of like keeps things, keeps things moving in an interesting way. But, um, I would say it subverts expectations quite a bit. It's very raw emotionally. Um, there are people I want to recommend this movie to that I'm like, I don't know if they're in the place where, how this is going to hit because it is, um, it's, it's very, it's very layered. What else can I say about pig? There is a scene in pig that is so unlike anything I've ever seen that had me holding my breath the entire time. It has nothing to do with the pig or the pig in danger or anything like that. Nothing about the pig. It's just, um, Nick Cage giving this monologue in a restaurant and he gives this monologue that just has me goosebumps. Uh, the guy who is acting opposite him, I don't know him, but, um, if this is everything he ever does, like this will be his famous scene. The things people do with this film without saying a word with just a look, um, are bananas. I think, you know, Film has a way of inviting you to connect with those parts of yourself that, you know, are really deep and special sometimes and, and unique and, 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 you know, the world and the universe and stuff. Terrence Malick certainly attempted that with Tree of Life. There are two ways through life. The way of nature and the way of grace. Tree of Life, a movie I walked out of. I get what he's trying to do with Tree of Life. Terrence Malick, kind of overrated. I have some friends who would hate me for saying that. Whatever, I find Terrence Malick fans aren't very intimidating. <laughs> so come at me, Terrence Malick fans. Tree of Life, a movie that tries to tell you how beautiful life is and the universe and, and all this shit. Um, I was watching it at the Tivoli and I just got up in the middle and went outside and left because it was a beautiful day out. And I feel like the whole movie was trying to get to this point of how beautiful life is. And it's like, well, I could just go outside and experience it right now. Pig does everything I think Terrence Malick tries to do in some of his films, but does it in a really relatable way. Uh, it's a story, start, beginning and end. I know sometimes movies are like artful and it's like, I didn't get it or I didn't understand what they were trying to do there. And, and it's sort of this dividing line between people who like real cinema and like, you know, want things explained and, you know, hand fed to them and people who are okay um, seeing something like a David Lynch film and, and just, you know, that dream logic. There's nothing like that. It's a very much like a start to, to finish story. I found it really fulfilling um, and from a storytelling perspective, just incredible. 
and very simple, actually. It's a very simple story. Um, I think it, it has a lot of simple truths that um, are made clear with this cool device that they use, which is this, this pig that connects everything. The pig is cute. The pig is adorable. I don't know what kind of pig it is. It is, it is great. Um, Nicholas Cage says he was inspired by his own cat um, in the way he acted with this pig. And I can totally see that. This pig acts like a cat. It acts like my little cat, my little truffle pig, which is uh, asleep in a little basket right now. So that's pig. Um, I hope you go see it. I would love to hear what you think. I give it my highest recommendation. I can't think of a time, uh, you know, and honestly, just as a movie to go back to, to, to pick a movie, your first movie back, uh, this is a good one. This reminded me of why theaters are so great and the experience you can have in a theater that is, is different than on your couch, no matter how your setup is. There was just an energy in the room when it ended that was, was really cool. I know I've been to movies like in college at the peak of my sort of naive, like, I don't know what, where everything meant everything, you know, at that age. Um, the movie Magnolia kind of made me feel like that. But, you know, Adaptation was a movie I felt like that in. Uh, there Will Be Blood, definitely. Um, this isn't as heavy as any of those, but just those goosebumps. It also, without, again, giving anything away, um, the way it ends, uh, hit me really hard uh, because I'm, I was particularly connected to a device that they use that, um, I mean, I don't think I can say anything, but um, either it'll hit you or it won't, um, depending on your, your love of, of, I don't even want to say. So yeah, that's, that's Pig with Nicolas Cage. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it'll make you feel it made me feel, I didn't leave feeling sad. I felt, I, I left feeling like, like really alive, actually. It was really nice. Um, it was, it was just a, a life is, is beautiful kind of thing, uh, you know, despite, you know, hardships and, and blah, blah, blah. Um, it just reaffirms some very simple truths um, that kind of made, make you like, almost with hope for humanity, but you know, then the lights come up and, and the reality sets back in. But um, for this for this couple hours, I was just all in, totally immersed. So all in on pig. Let's see, how can we do this here? How can I wrap this up? I'm giving pig A plus, wait, hold on. I wanna, I wanna give myself like cool, Glasses, yes. And then maybe like A plus. Yeah, A plus pig. Oh, good movie, pig. This, this is for the, um, the back of the video release. Pig. Uh, so yeah, go see it. It's incredible. Uh, have a beautiful, wonderful Friday. And thanks for letting me play around in this goofy whatever. Um, I don't know how to stop it, so. Oi, 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 oi. I am pig man. Oi, 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 oi. Oink, 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 oink. Who has my pig?